Welcome to this session of software testing. The previous session we talked about system testing. Within that, we identified some objects and then we did some scenarios for them. Typically, we talked about configuration, security, functionality, performance, and compatibility, environment related stuff. Now, in this session, we are going to see something as the very first step in system testing, which is nothing but understanding, right, the specs. If you understand the specification, right, it will be very good before proceeding to testing. In fact, it is one of the essentials. If you don't understand what the software is supposed to do, you cannot do justice to testing. This means read SRS. Unless you read the SRS given by the customer. The SRS may be in a document or it may be a list of features. And as we saw in the SDLC phases, it may be use case also. right? The SRS may be a simple document like a storyboard, right? or it may be a feature list or it may be a use case. In any case, you need to read that SRS very, very well. Many times people do not read in depth. They just glance the papers or the pages, then assume that they have got the knack. No. That is not the case. Most of the places, right, people just read at the surface level, they miss the finer detail. When I say understanding in depth, right, if you are reading any document deeply, you will get doubts. If you don't get doubts, either the document should be very, very good which has been already uh, reviewed 100 times or you have not read it correctly. So it is always good that you read it in depth. Then you need to ask for clarifications. I'll give a few examples. Okay. Imagine a requirement document that says, uh, let us assume that it is a it's a point of sale, POS, point of sale, right? Point of sale meaning uh, whenever you go to a shop, you are giving some money and uh, they put the receipt, print it, then they give it to you, they give the change back. In that, there is a small system, right? In the system, one of the requirements says, assume that it says, uh, taxation must be applied to bill. Right? Imagine that the requirement just says this. Right? Taxation must be applied to bill. Okay? You and I know there is a sales tax, there is a surcharge. Right? Imagine that the requirement doesn't state anything beyond, then you should ask for what is the tax percentage. You need to ask because what will be the taxation? Suppose the bill amount is uh, say $198 and I can apply a 2% charge or I can apply a 3% tax. We don't know what is the taxation. But if the spec simply says taxation must be applied and if it is not clear to you what kind of taxation, right? What kind of tax? Is it a sales tax or is it a service tax or is it a state tax, right? You need to ask whatever that you don't know, if it is not clear, right? If it is not clear, if it is missing, right? Sometimes they will say, uh, they would have completely omitted the details, right? So you need to ask for that omission also. Then you can always ask, okay, this is the customer requirement. How do I know what is missing, right? This is where your 
past experience comes into picture. You might have already done a POS or you might have done something related to sales, right? Or you should have gone through some amount of material, right? Study material in that domain. Sales is a domain, um, accounting is a domain, finance is a domain, insurance is a domain. So you should have gone through some of the documentations in that domain. Then you can ask logical, valid questions. Many times, uh, SRS itself is not complete. So you cannot 100% trust the SRS right at the first shot. If something is not clear, ask for it. It may be there, but you may not be understanding what it means. So you should ask for clarifications. Mostly, whatever that is not clear, whatever that is missing, we need to ask for it. You can ask your project manager or test manager, right? You can ask any one of them. They will in turn ask the business analyst and they will get the answers. If they themselves know, they can answer immediately or otherwise they can ask the business analyst. Sometimes even the business analyst will not be knowing it, then he will or she will ask the customer, right? The business analyst in turn can ask the customer for finer details. So that is also quite possible. So this is the very, very first step. Understand the specs. Ask for clarifications. If you don't ask for clarifications, that itself is a problem. Right? Don't assume. Do not assume that SRS is perfect. No. Most of the times it is not. So you need to ask for clarifications. Your test manager will compile all such clarifications in a document right and then in that the answers will be provided because if you ask for a question and then uh, in, a, in a separate email and uh, team test manager or project manager replies back then you only know instead they will make a clarification document in that they will typically write okay, uh, what all the questions asked by people. Right? A clarification document will typically look like this. Right? The first thing is uh, date in which you raised that um, issue. Right? Then question. Right? What is the question that you asked? Raised by whom? then clarification and then uh, who clarified then the status right typically if you look at this document this is like a tracking document right in this one they will raise every single clarification again I am just giving you a simple template there may be so many other details that can be available in the document uh, just take an example over here. Assume that uh, I am raising a request on say 23rd November 2010. Question is, uh, what is the sales tax percentage right? raised by Nagarajan? Then clarification it may come from the customer. Assume that it is coming right today, 23rd November 2010 who clarified, sorry, this is the date of clarification, then actually it is 7.5% sales tax. Who clarified? Customer John clarified, this is closed, right? Typically, the clarification may be in open status or closed status or uh, deferred. Deferred meaning postponed or uh, held for some reason, right? So you will always uh, have all this information in a single spreadsheet. Of course, uh, date clarified also, right? 23rd November. 
uh, you may ask a question today and the customer may be busy it may be resolved maybe at a later point of time so in all those cases you should keep on adding this imagine that I have another question right uh, can one operator work on two POS counters right Nagarajan clarification we are waiting this is open right I am raising again on same day today I will be waiting the test manager or the project manager will be compiling this clarifications log this is also known as clarifications log a log meaning a document that is collated with all the details right so this is also happening along side by side by the team test manager or the project manager but you need to raise the doubts if you don't raise and if you assume everything is perfect that is not correct right this is the very very first step in test testing process understand specs again I repeat understand specs read specs in depth right understand the specs ask doubts if you don't ask that's a problem the success of testing is almost entirely dependent upon this step the better you understand the better you ask questions the more you ask questions better is your understanding the testing will be better and robust if your understanding itself is not that sound then obviously the testing will not be that sound okay this is the very first step in system testing I will stop this session we will continue with something called uh, test conditions writing which is going to be the next step in the next session